This is Max with A1 Website Pro with part two of the uh, Bootstrap to WordPress uh, theme integration tutorial. And uh, the next thing we're going to be doing is getting the layout in our our theme here. Right now we, we stand like this, okay? So what we want to do is on A1 Website Pro, there's a guide to understanding the Bootstrap grid system. And if you scroll down here, uh, first, uh, you know, we have the library. We did that in the first lesson. Um, there's one thing that I want to tell you about the library. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the header .php. All right, now do you see this style sheet right here? Um, let me see. Let me, okay, right here where it says get style sheet. We actually have to move this to the last part. And I'm going to tell you why here in a second. So let's take it and move it before the JavaScript, but after the other CSS there, okay? So we're going to put it in right there. Now the reason why we have to do that is a computer's read from the top to the bottom. So if we have to uh, override anything or do anything in our style sheet, it'll read this one first, okay? It'll read this uh, library first, but if we want to override that, we'll be able to override that with our style sheet, uh, our style.css that we'll be editing. So we just want to make sure that this style sheet is after this one, okay? And that'll give us more control over theming our um, WordPress theme here. Okay, so right now we're going to go over the examples of using the Bootstrap grid. Now, everything starts out with this div class of fluid container, okay? And then we have to put the ending div tag, all right? And in that, we can have, we could do pretty much anything, but uh, these rows here are important. Now, uh, the, these rows, <clears throat> they actually consist of 12 columns. The COL stands for column, SM stands for small, and then we have these uh, 4 and 8, which equal 12. Now we could have 2 and 10. We could have 6 and 6. All right. Now you're going to understand this as we go. But at, what we want to do here is we want to grab this first div class and we want to right click and copy it. And we're going to go back to our header. All right. Now, right where the body opens up, do you see this where it says div ID container? You know, we got to go above there. We got to go right where the okay. There's the body class right there. Okay, all right. So we're going to actually go in here and paste that container of fluid right there. Okay. Now we're going to hit uh, Command S to save that. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the uh, footer in this. So let's navigate to our folder and go to our footer because we have to close out that div tag because the header loads first and then it comes down and it loads the footer. So here's, an, here's a div tag. We have to close out the bootstrap div tag. Okay. Now let's hit file and save there. Okay. So now we got the, uh, the bootstrap kick and let's see what changes it made, if any. Let's go ahead and refresh. Okay, let me do option refresh, do a hard refresh here. Okay, now you notice how it kind of like moved everything over. And now the style sheet, remember how we switched it around on the header? We switched it around so it's taken over. And what you saw before, you don't see now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to that style sheet. And we're going to take everything out because we don't need it. Okay, so let's open up our our themes and go down to the style.css and let's open that in our editor here and do you see all this stuff right here okay all that stuff we're going to take this all out all right and we'll hit save and let's go back to our theme and let's re refresh it okay so now we see that the bootstrap is starting to take effect. Okay, so it's moving things over. We got our padding on our side here. So we, we know that we called it in. Now we're going to start uh, manipulating some tags and things in, in, within this uh, blank slate theme, uh, you know, to, <clears throat> to match the bootstrap library. 
Okay, the first thing we're going to start editing is the post page, okay? So if we go over here and we just click Hello World, you notice how the uh, URL loads up right here. This is a post page, okay? So we're going to go in here, we're going to start styling this page, you know, beginning with the header. One of the things you're going to be quick to notice is this Bootstrap with word pressure title is different than it was on the home page. Notice it's nice and big there and it's smaller here. The reason for that is if we go back to our header.php, it's this line right here where it's site title line 19. Notice the PHP is seeing if it's the front page. If it is the front page, then it's going to echo an H1 tag. Okay, else it's it's going to echo just site title. Okay, so it's putting the H1 tag in there only if it's the home page. Okay, so that's why you have the difference in the bootstrap with WordPress here and the bootstrap with WordPress here. Now the reason for that is because of search engine optimization. Search engine optimization requires that the title of the page, which just titles Hello World, be in the H1 tag. So they did that for search engine optimization. But we could see that you know it still doesn't look right or our header's not going to be consistent. So what can we do? Well we know that site title, if we right click right here and inspect the element, we come down here, we see div ID of site title, okay? We can actually copy that ID right there, open our style sheet and start styling it up. So I already have the style sheet open from earlier. So I'm gonna go right in here and I'll put a pound sign for the ID and site title. And let's go ahead and go um, font size, let's say 22 pixels just for right now, just to give us a starting point. We'll go back here, refresh, Okay, let's do a hard refresh if you hold option down. If you're not get, seeing any changes, sometimes, uh, you know, you're, if you're using Chrome like I am, the cache will mess with you a little bit. But here's how you can do it. <clears throat> oh, okay, the, the other thing too is since this is an anchor link, I need to put the A reference on the end there. So let me just go ahead and show you how to do that. Site title, I got to put space A and font size. Uh, let's let's go with 32 just to see a big difference. Let's refresh. Do a hard refresh by holding the option key down. There we go. See bootstrap with WordPress. So we 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 increase the font. It still doesn't look like it looked on right here, right? Okay, it's getting closer. Well, maybe it does. Does the font look all right yeah, it does it looks the same all right now we have this tagline right here just another WordPress site okay and it's pretty much the same right there so if we go back to our uh, post page right click on that inspect that element and let's see it's called a site description okay so let's go ahead and grab that ID and we'll just go ahead and begin style that Gotta put a pound sign for IDs, site description. Opening closing curly bracket, and maybe we'll just copy this font size, paste it in here, and we'll make this uh, 22 instead of 32. Okay. We'll come back here. I'm gonna keep the style sheet loaded up over here. So if we have any uh, issues, you know, I can make sure that it's being called in. So let me refresh that. We got our site description right there. Okay, let's refresh the page. All right, so just another WordPress site. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> now we see this search box in the sample page. Okay, now that could be in the header or it could be in a widget. So what we'll do is we'll go to the header.php. Let's search down here. Oh, there it is, get search form. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take that totally out of there for right now. Uh, we'll probably use it in a widget later. And then here's the nav menu for uh, the uh, the menu bar. Okay, so let's refresh. All right, here we have sample page. So that's the menu bar, and this is the title, Hello World. And let's go ahead and edit this. Let's put some dummy text in here. You know. This is some more 
dummy text. All right, let's go ahead and update that as if we were a webmaster. Let's go view that post. This is some dummy text. Okay, so this is our paragraph. And when somebody's logged in, they'll see this. But if they're not logged in, they won't see edit this or this black bar across the top. And how you can do that is you copy your link, go over here to Chrome and open an incognito window and paste that in there and enter that just to make sure. Okay, this is how everybody else would see it. Okay, so we're starting to come along. Let's go add, add some more pages so we can start styling the menu here, okay? So let's go ahead and add a few more pages. New page. Well, let's do about us. We are so cool. You would not believe it. All right, let's go ahead and publish that one. Let's make a new page. Another new page. Contact us. You will be glad you did. All right, let's publish that. All right, let's go ahead and view these pages now. So now we see that our menu is starting to come down like this. All right, so we want to bootstrap this, this navigation menu. All right, so that's what we're going to do next. Okay, now we have an unordered menu list. You know, as we add the pages, you know, they continually stack up like this, but they're not bootstrapped. Well, if you go to A1 Website Pro to this page here, Bootstrap Nav Menu for WordPress. Well, this is uh, the thing that you could just grab and copy and paste to help you with this particular problem. So let's right click, copy. And then we're going to go back to our. Uh, well, let's go back. Let's go back to our uh, BB Edit, and see right here where it says Navigation ID Menu, Role Navigation, WP Menu, so on and so forth. We're going to highlight this, and we're just going to paste in what we got from Able Website Pro right here. Now I'm going to take a minute and explain what we did here. This Nav class of Nav Navbar Navbar Default is part of your um, bootstrap library and the div class of container fluid once again with inside this this is a wordpress function or menu right and what it does is it makes the container an unordered list it takes adds the menu class of nav navbar hyphen nav okay and we just created this menu id because we're going to use it later possibly and we just named the menu ID boot menu. We're going to echo it to be true. The theme location is main menu. So we're just going to hit save like that. Let's go back to our uh, site. And we're going to hold our option down and refresh the page. And now we have a bootstrap menu there. So it's calling in the bootstrap samples or the, the bootstrap library. And if we navigate, go to these pages, we see you know, we're, it's starting to take place nicely. We've called in the Bootstrap library, and now we actually have our menu in a Bootstrap format as well. Okay, let's talk about this menu a little bit more in depth. If I take the whole browser and I move it over, you notice how the menu just goes like this. Well, this isn't really that good for mobile because as you add more and more things to your menu, it's going to be... Uh, <clears throat> pushing all the content way down and you're above the full content becomes less and less. So to solve that situation, if you go back to uh, the bootstrap nav menu for WordPress, I have another code right here. It's called the collapse code for on mobile. So you bring that up here and control A, control C to copy it. And you come back here and find out where your nav starts and it starts right here and you can see where it ends down here and we'll take the header put it down there but we're going to highlight this entire code right here and hit control V and just paste that code in there come back to your uh, um, bootstrap mobile or bootstrap website refresh it and now what happens what's what happens whenever we shrink it now we get that nice little mobile menu toggle right there in Bootstrap. Okay, 
This is Max with Avon Website Pro. I hope you're appreciating these uh, tutorials. Uh, please like and subscribe, comment below, and that'll move us, give us more motivation to make more out. If we get enough likes and subscribes or, or possibly even little donations here and there, we're going to continue on with these lessons. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you at the next tutorial.